protesters gathering at college campuses across the country, including one large demonstration here in San Diego. Thank you for joining us on this Wednesday night. I'm Kathleen Bay. This week, we have seen peaceful protests about the ongoing Israel Hamas war at SDSU, the University of San Diego, but the largest was today at UC San Diego. And tonight we have team coverage. Our Phil Blauer is standing by with the latest on the ongoing conflict overseas. But we start things off with our Sarah Allegre, who is live in La Jolla with more on today's demonstration. Well, Kathleen, everything started today around the 12 o'clock hour. Now here we are at 10 p.m. It is still an excited environment. I want to show you here we have several students still gathered around hundreds of people holding out their phones, chanting together and dancing with one another. You could see the Palestinian flags waving. Now they're here today to call on UC San Diego to meet a certain list of demands. And as far as tonight goes, they say they're going to sleep here along this patch of grass in this area until their demands fans are met. From chants to songs to a midday prayer. Scores of protesters take to UC San Diego for demonstrations, setting up camp and calling on the university to cut all ties with Israel. We won't leave until our demands have been met. Hal Abdullah's parents immigrated to the States from Palestine amid the six day war back in the 60s. She's now choosing to sleep in an encampment in honor of her family and their home at war. A lot of people in here have close relatives in Gaza and close friends and family. Hala is a member of Students for Justice in Palestine. They organized a demonstration and asked that UCSD and research partnerships with the Israeli Defense Ministry, the USDOD, and private defense contractors. It's really important that not only, you know, we get support from the outside, but also the administration starts listening. The encampments here build off of other movements on college campuses across the country over the past several weeks, asking schools to divest from Israel and its military operation in Gaza. We are the Revolution. The death toll there now surpasses 34,000 people in Israel. 1,200 Israelis have died, most of which happened in that October 7th attack by Hamas. Students are really just fed up with the administration's lack of paying attention to them, their needs, silencing Palestinian voices here on campus. UCSD did release a statement which says the university does support and express views on campus, but also commits to protecting the physical safety of the community. A statement backed by campus police presence during protest Wednesday evening. We are here to camp. We are here to sleep. We are here to wake up and carry on with our day. And while pro-Palestine UCSD students prep for midterms outside intense, they also say they're taking time to reflect. We're here. We have the privilege to wake up tomorrow to go to class. Other students in Gaza, other family members, people who wanted to graduate, they don't get that opportunity anymore. Now, I do want to note that the university did say that this does violate campus policy, at least the encampments here, but they also went on to say that they want their students to rightfully practice free speech. Now, when it comes to this rally, this one was a pro-Palestine rally, but we have seen counter protests in other portions of the county. The most notable happening yesterday with SDSU and those students there say, some of which say that they still feel like they're recovering from that October 7th attack by Hamas. For now, that's the very latest here from La Jolla, Sarah Allegre, Fox 5 News.